everyone, welcome to our program. This is JC Superstar Show. In my program today, I invite three students from Mechanics and Mobility Uniform Campus. They participated in one international competition and they came with many prizes. They're going to tell us about that competition and their efforts. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, Gibson School System. This is JC Superstar Show. I am Bermanet Zeneva. Directly, we'll go to the program. Welcome to JC Superstar Show. Thank you. Good. Let's start our program by introducing yourselves to the audience. Okay. Uh, thank you for inviting this program. My name is Kendo Sabinet. I'm in Great Team Mechanica Campus students. All right, Kendo Sabinet from Mechanica Campus. Okay. Thanks for giving me the chance. My name is Mikhail Salamu. I'm a Great Team student from Gibson School Systems Mechanica Campus. Mikhail Salamu from Mechanica Campus and. Thank you for the chance. My name is Beda Zafa. I'm a grade 12 student from Bole 24 campus. Beda Zafa from Bole 24 campus. Thank you for coming to our program. I'm so happy to have you in my program today. Let me uh, make our first question. How your class going on this uh, this academic year? First of all, I'm very happy. I'm very happy that you participate. Uh, first of all, I'm very happy that you're going to attending our class every day and week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are attending our classes uh, by uh, keeping our meeting our social distance, wearing our face masks, sanitizing our hands. Uh, our teachers are teaching us very well. Mm -hmm. With the help of our teachers and our administrative staff in this regard is highly appreciated. Wow, that's really a good explanation. L last year, last academic year, it was Corona, right? Yes. But this academic year, it's full week, right? Yes. So, okay, Mikhail. Cool, thanks. Uh, our class are going very good. Mm -hmm. Every year it gets tougher and harder and still very interesting. Mm -hmm. Thanks to our teachers who are teaching us in the whole uh, school community. It's going great. Nice, nice. Better. Uh, so since I'm a grade 12 student, we are trying to cover up all the subjects and we're also preparing for the coming uh, national exam. Uh, so, so far it's good. Alright. You guys, you participated on different uh, competitions. Kadus and uh, Mikael, he participated in the Model United Nation uh, for Young Leaders competition. And Beza, uh, you participated in uh, a, a Smart Village Students Paper competition. Kadus, you won Model United Nation for Young Leaders competition from education sector. Uh, Mikael participated as well in this competition. And uh, uh, you got first place in the Smart Village Student Paper competition from health sector, right? And Beza? You got second place. Congratulations first. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Uh, how did you get this chance to participate in the, in the competition? And how was the competition? Uh, first one that was the NC competition when two graduate students came to our class and okay. presented pro present the program to us. Mm -hmm. The competition was a very nice and great opportunity to exercise our leadership and com communication skills. Okay. Uh, and the age group of the competition was from 15 years to 35 years. Mm -hmm. uh, so among that you are the youngest, right? Yes. Oh, yes. that's really great. Yeah. Uh, in this year there were about 80 delegates. 80, 80. Yes, okay. 80 delegates. The yeah, majority of them were college graduates. Uh, it's, I mean, some of them had even jobs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some students from our school. Uh, I was uh, selected as a representative of the data, the city, mm -hmm. from the education sector. Firstly, when the competition starts, every delegate presents the issues they have uh, seen from their sector and presents their revolution, resolution. And then, it will be time to form groups. Mm -hmm. In forming groups, in one sector there are about two groups. Okay. And so, from four sectors there are eight groups. Mm -hmm. in, the, in one group, there are two delegates selected to represent and lead that group. And the main struggle when for after forming groups was to become one of those leaders. Oh, to become a speaker of that group? Yes, to become a speaker of that group. I was chosen as a speaker. Wow. Yeah, it was to then after smoking it's time to present our ideas as a group to the General Assembly. Mm -hmm. uh, after the, when presenting the General Assembly, at the beginning the judge says to clap in the lot to any mm -hmm. Then it was my time to present. After I finished presenting, Everyone clapped their hands on the Because they, they appreciated it. Yes. Oh, that's really great. After I finished presenting, and all 16 days we finished, it's time for voting. As a minimum vote was from 8 to 16, 
and it was my turn and I got 46 votes out of 80. Out of 80? Yes. Wow. Yes. So, because I got 46 votes, I won first place from the education sector and I became one of the best four delegates of the modern United Nations. What was that paper, the one you prepared and uh, you gave a speech? Yeah, it was about the education problems and so on educations, okay. uh, like uh, the cleanliness of the same school, Mm -hmm. type of points. Mm -hmm. That's what you presented very well and you got first place. Yes. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank okay, Mikhail, how was the competition? It was uh, great. Okay. Uh, I got the opportunity to participate in the Power Africa competition through Mr. Mukonne, who okay. was the coordinator of this competition in our campus. Mm -hmm. So uh, the first day he posted about it on the journey. And the next day I asked him about what the competition is, I asked him more information, detailed information mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. And then I started writing my paper. The topic was uh, water, energy, food, nexus in Africa, okay. technologies, benefits, applications, and the challenges. Wow. Uh, I wrote about that topic, research a lot, since through a lot of uh, websites, telling information, mm -hmm. called gathering information. And I submitted my paper. The competition uh, was very great. Tested out a lot of my writing and researching skills, time management, and it was very nice. That's your, your first experience, right? Yes. Well, that's really great. What about Pisa? How was the competition and how did you get uh, the chance to participate? So, I get the chance to participate uh, from Mr. Uh, Alfred. Mm -hmm. He also informed us about the uh, competition. Uh, the school has also announced the link through, the, through their Telegram channel. Mm -hmm. Uh, overall, the competition was very interesting. It gave me a real chance uh, 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 and exposure to prepare papers, to make presentations, mm -hmm. and also to participate in conferences with renowned scholars and researchers. Mm -hmm. So that's really great. Okay, what kind of uh, recognition and award did you receive after the competition? Can you let me start for you? <coughs> Firstly, I received a certificate as the best delegate of the data. Wow, then you came with a certificate. Ladies and gentlemen, you came with certificates, really great. LCC certificates, okay. Uh, second, I got a certificate of recognition as a delegate who got the majority of the votes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, uh, a book, a gold ring, and a chance to participate in the international competition as a representative of my school and my country. Which is going to be held where? In Turkey. Wow. Kedus is going to be, you know, one of the competitors in Turkey. When is that? Around March. March. I wish you all the best. Thank you. All right. Mikhail. Uh, thanks uh, for giving the chance. I received the award certificates and for standing first, for the standing first mm -hmm. in category B high school students. Okay. And I also received a cash prize of uh, 125 dollars. 125 dollars? <laughs> That's really great. Uh, and 250 dollars for the hosting institution for my school. Okay. And uh, so, what, what's your plan to with that money? What kind of plan you have? Uh, I, that's for my future savings oh. and donated for a lot of things, charity, many other stuff. Well, I like your ideas, Mikhail. That's really great, Beza. Uh, so I get two certificates. Uh, one is uh, for participating in the conference. Mm -hmm. The other one I get as the which recognizes my second place yeah. in the paper competition. Mm -hmm. Beside that, I also got a hundred dollar, hundred dollar, hundred dollar wow. USD cash, yeah. and a two hundred dollar from my school gives well, That's really great achievement. I'm so happy for you guys. Okay, let's uh, move on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is JSA Superstar Show. Today I invited three students from Mechanics and Embodies Uniform Campus. They're sharing as many experience about their competition. We'll be back after a few moments. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. This is JC Superstar Show. We'll continue with the rest of the question. 
How was uh, how was your parents feeling after you won the competition? My parents were very excited and very very happy that I won more than I from the education sector. You are so uh, happy, right? Very happy. Well, we okay. came. Uh, my parents are very delighted. My father he was really happy and proud. My yeah. mother too. Okay, what kind of uh, award they gave you from parents? Any motivational uh, prize? Yes, it gave me motivational uh, energy. Okay. okay. And if I made some this up, mm -hmm. by doing this such a small thing, yeah. it gave me the motivation to be a lot of other things. Well, well that's one you motivated a lot, right? Yes. All right, Mesa. Uh, my parents and my grandmother, my grandfather, as a whole, my family, they're very happy. They're also proud of me. And I'm also happy. Well, okay. How do you study at home, and in what way do you manage your time? Let's talk about that one. <coughs> well, I have a schedule on the time I have after school, the time for rest and relax, and time for study. I like to study ahead of the school schedule. Okay. Yeah, because it gives, it gives me the time to better understand the subject mm -hmm. and revise, mm -hmm. and then even gives me the time to ask teachers questions. If you. Wow, that's really good, Mikhail. Uh, every day when I wake up, I plan on how I'm going to have a day. You have a schedule? Yes. Not a daily schedule as good to say for mm -hmm. studying, mm -hmm. but I plan every day to do what should uh, As a to do list? Yes, a to do list. Okay. And by this way, I manage my time. I put, I give a priority for the things that I need to do and the things that I would like to do and want to do. And she was admitted, yeah. I didn't take away my time. I used my time to do it. Uh, so, before I study, I always make a timetable uh, so that I could use my time effectively. Uh, when I study, I usually study at a quiet place and a comfortable a quiet place. I uh, make sure that I have all my equipment with me so that I don't get distracted easily. Alright. Where do you see uh, yourself in the future? Where? Well, my dream is to become an astronaut. Astronaut? Yes. Okay. So I see myself in the future as a best leader of space, of a space company. Mm -hmm. And if you like it, to start my own space company here in Ethiopia. Wow, that's really big, big uh, vision. Yeah. Wow. Well, Mikhail? Yes, that's a hard question. I had uh, a lot of dreams and goals to achieve. Uh, uh, but I'm, basically, I'm particularly interested in human psychology and neuroscience. Mm -hmm. And when I grow up, I would like to be a doctor. And, uh, and help my country through this work. Good. It's really good dream. Okay, Beza. Uh, currently, I'm working. <coughs> currently, I'm working to have a good grade mm -hmm. so that I could join, you know, Wilmo University mm -hmm. uh, and to pursue my education. But one day, I would like to have my own company in different countries. And I hope if you work hard, you can achieve that one. Okay. I hope you have role models, right? So, who is your role model in that team inspires you always? My, my father is one of my role models. He works hard mm -hmm. and he would like to do. Mm -hmm. My second role model is uh, Dr. Rodas. Okay. Uh, he's in Ethiopia. He takes uh, like space in space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Rodas, you're right. Uh, so, he's your role model? Yes. All right. Okay, okay. Uh, my main role model is my mother. She's a very hardworking uh, person. Mm -hmm. She always achieves what she wants. She always achieves her dreams. Mm -hmm. And that's like what I want to do in my life. And my other role model is my father. He knows time management. Mm -hmm. I learned time management from him. Okay. And uh, my other role models are my teachers, who always teach us, who always show us what we can do. And that's it. All right, all right. Pizza? Uh, my role model is my grandfather. Mm -hmm. He is a really hardworking person. And my other role model is Elon Musk. I love his work ethic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, uh, let me make this one my final question. If you want to thank your special ones, here is the chance. Get us. <laughs> thank you. I would like to thank my mother and father. They helped me to prepare for this competition. They showed me how to present on stage, they showed me how to appeal to and convince other delegates. Secondly, I would like to thank my administrative staff and my teachers. 
uh, they helped me become the man I am today. Secondly, I would like to thank modern imagination organizers for preparing such a competition that gave me a lot of experience. Finally, if any of you who are interested in such type of programs, you can go to Telegram and there's a group called Model United Nations. You can join that group and get the latest notifications on such type of programs. Thank you. Okay, Mikhail. Thanks for giving me the chance. I'd first like to thank God for helping me to pass through all these challenges in my life. And then I'd like to thank my family, my father, for this visualized me on this stage. For this holding that I can meet in my mother, who has been very supportive, helping me pass through all the processes. And then I would like to thank my school, uh, Mr. Abdush, who has been cooperative and uh, has, has been helping us to get to receive our awards after that, not only that. And uh, Mr. Makonu, who inspired me now with this competition. All right, Lisa. Uh. First and I most, I'd like to thank the uh, Almighty God. Next, I'd like to thank my parents and my families for their support and time. I would also like to thank my teachers, to be specific, Mr. Desale, Mr. Asrat, Mr. Alfred, Mr. Alfred, and uh, especially Mr. Hardush for his uh, support, for his follow-up and assistance. Uh, last but not least, I would like to thank my mom for her support, devotion, and assistance. Thank you. And uh, my questions, guys, I'm so happy to have you in my program today. Keep up the good work. I hope next time you will come up with another surprise and a great achievements, and we'll be back with that too. Thank you very much for uh, attending our program. This is JC Superstar Show. Next time we'll come up with another superstar. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, Gibson School System. If you have any comments, you can forward for us. Thank you very much.